All right, hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome. Good Friday night to you. A good Friday to you. All right, I got a big mess here. Something cool happened just now. I can't tell you, but I will. But not yet. Not till everybody gets here. All right, hey Chad number two, Sean, welcome. I love knives. Hey John, let me clear off this stuff here. Some of this nobody wants to see. It's been a busy, kind of a busy day. One of those days, you just. I don't know. One of those days, you know. You think you're going to get a whole lot done, and then nothing gets done. And then all that gets done is something you wanted to get done. But the things you wanted to get done that you didn't want to do didn't get done. Excellent. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let me plug my phone in. Hey. Chadman is in the, in the house driving. All right. Excellent. <clears throat> All right, let me see here. Y'all not going to believe what happened tonight. Let me see here. Let's see here. No complaints about the body odor. No, no worries, gun. We're all good. Let's see. Hey, Boyd, welcome. Hey, Birdman, how's it going? Good evening, Tom. Apologize for all this mess here. I've done nothing with the table. All right, put that away. All right, I think we're ready to go. Get all that stuff off of here. How y'all doing? Y'all doing okay? Hey, Moss, welcome. <clears throat> so I went ahead and opened this Kershaw here. And I don't, this is the Decimus. I'm not really sure. There we go. That's a pretty cool little knife. You know what I like about this? This is an assisted. You know what I like about it is you can get it closed halfway without it starting that assist and that assist pushback. And that makes this kind of a good one handed, one handed knife as far as. Because sometimes you have an assist and it's starting way up here and you're like, and then by the time you get down here, it slips by your fingers. And this one's perfect. It's, it's non assisted all the way down to there and it just snaps open. I'm not going to tell you all about it. I just want to show that to you real quick. So I opened that today. And the box I was supposed to show you and open up live, I couldn't take it anymore. And I went ahead and opened that anyways. Let me put the 804 out here. I found this down at the bottom of the drawer. I haven't carried that enough lately. So there you go. I'll bring out the pink Lum Chinese. And then this one that y'all should have gone and bought upon my recommendation the other day. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let me get my glasses on so I can read everything. All right, so. Tonight, I was going to go on earlier, and then something so cool happened. Like the coolest thing you could possibly imagine happened. It was awesome. <clears throat> dum, dum, dum. I'll have to show you what happened. You guys won't believe it unless I show you a picture of what happened. So, let me show you what happened here. Alright, let me make sure it goes that. Oh, oh. Y'all ready? Who wants to see what happened? Yeah! Yeah, there it is! That happened! <laughs> Very cool. It was so awesome. It was so much fun. I got to meet Chadman. That was really cool. It was such a blast right here in Casa de Jimmy Slash. It was so much fun. It was so cool. I just wish it had been longer, but it was awesome. So much. It was really, really cool. I can't say really, really cool, so much fun enough. It was so much fun. So. <clears throat> Yeah, Brandon, it was just, I, I was really high on this thing for a while, and then I just forgot about it because it sunk to the bottom there. And, and, but it's definitely going back into the rotation there. Yeah, I got to meet Tom Hanks today. <clears throat> no, it wasn't Todd Hanks. It was, it was Chad Men, Chad number one. Yeah, he's prettier in person, let me tell you that. And then, standing next to me, he gets even prettier. So... I doubled his prettiness just by being in the picture with him. 
It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. One of the coolest things. It was really cool. All right. Oh, dang. We're going to stay on here for the next four hours, folks, to keep the Chadmen awake. So we'll be playing. We'll have some musical numbers, some juggling acts, and maybe some burping contests. I don't know yet. Doo, doo, doo. All right, dirty hippie and a preppy. I was a dirty <laughs> Oh, man. And the thing is, I, I, I was... <laughs> He, and he smells good too. Yeah, he does smell good. And he's muscly. He's all, he's all jacked and stuff. Oh, yeah, they should make a TV show about him. It would be like one of those unbelievable shows where he's an attorney by day and night stalker in the, you know, in the dark. So. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be a, a dirty hippie. I was just trying. I was. I heard he was coming over, and I just was rushing around to clean up the house. And I didn't want all the my sweat mixing with the glory of him. So I didn't want to get. So I had to put on my my do rag. I didn't arm wrestle him. No way. I you know I like to be the strongest person on that table for sure. So. <laughs> But no, it wasn't like that. We was just over for a little bit on his way home. So it was really, really cool. He have a, I, I don't know if it was an eyes on shirt. It was really nice. We need a TV sitcom called My Three Chads. <laughs> Starring. <laughs> and Hugh Beaumont. <laughs> I don't know. No, Hugh Beaumont was on Beaver Cleaver show, wasn't it? I don't know. Fred McMurray, that's who we're looking at. And then Uncle Charlie. That me no no good. All right, so let me show you what I opened up the other day when you were supposed to be looking and I didn't let you look. No, I wasn't barefoot. He's taller than he says he is. So I'm 5'8", and I had my shoesies on, so he's got to be, good Lord, 5'11", or something there. Six-footer? So, no, I wasn't barefoot at all. Yeah, we gotta get the waffle filled. Hey, yeah, there's a waffle going on. A raffle over on Facebook. For the folks that don't do Facebook, there's a raffle going on. I got a mystery box. There's a mystery box that has a bunch of good knives in there. I don't know where the mystery box is. Oh, here it is. Here's the mystery box. And here is the mystery box. There you go. So, yeah, if you want... If you want in on the raffle, I think we're about halfway through 40 slots. So it's $10 a slot. Hit me up on the email, jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com, and I will get you as many slots as you want. And we can go from there. Usually there's a couple, folks. <clears throat> oh, I got cowboy boots on. Well, still, I don't know if that's going to give you that much. Anyways, it was a blast. It was really, it was like a weird dream. Be sitting there in my, in my kitchen, been talking to him for two years online and finally got to meet him. So that was a lot of fun. It was a really cool, just made my whole week. So I really appreciate and that, it was awesome. Okay, what am I doing? I got something super cool to tell you. That's right, MJ. Thank God it's Friday. I have something really cool to show you later, but I'm not going to show it to you just yet. Plus, there's the giveaway. I've been slacking off on my giveaway videos. It's been a, one of those kind of weeks, but we're still going to do a giveaway. Just keep looking. I'm going to send out some crazy find the number questions on the next couple videos I laid out, and then we'll do the video Sunday night for the giveaway, I promise. We'll, 
whatever's going to happen, there's going to be something given away Sunday night. All right, so this knife here I got from Smoky Mountain. Have y'all seen this knife before? I think this is called the Boker Plus, and I want to live. I think it's called the PM3. I might be wrong, but I think it's the PM3. This is a really cool lockback. If y'all like that that cold steel kind of lockback thick feel, this is like a small version of an AD10. If if there was an AD10 Junior, this is what that feels like in hand. So I'll open, I got to open up that today. I was supposed to open it on camera with you guys, but I didn't. So I, I'm, I was a, I was a liar. I couldn't wait. But it was, it was understandable lying. It was something that was justifiable because I had that itch that needed to be scratched. <laughs> it was the, it was a stupid unicorn. It was the, the grumbly that only human. Human hands could satisfy. <laughs> ah, you're a doofus. Yeah, it was really cold, silly stock, exactly. That looks like free knives. There's troll up and down Skid Row when it's getting cracked. It's trying to steal the knife. Oh, there you go. Eagerly awaiting my shock. Oh, nice. Yeah, shock. Bokers are awesome. I have a ton of bokers. I didn't realize how many bokers I had. Until I started stacking boxes the other day. And I have a bunch of good bokers. Let me see. Let me see if I can find the good bokers. Just a bunch of them. Oh, look. Another Sulaco. You can't have too many Sulacos. Seriously. Since they're not being made anymore. Oh, that one's a beast. That one's a monster. The squail. The squall. The squail. The squally. Anyways, I love Boker, and they're really nice people over there, too. So if you have any issues with Boker, Boker knives, just give them a call. And that's the way to do it over there. I keep telling everybody that, but that's the way to do it. Give Boker a call. That's the easiest way to get what you want from them. Okay. All right. I scratched this day with the Jimmy Slash affiliate link. Oh, Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, y'all use that link if, if at all possible. Some of it, a small part of it is for the the sweet, sweet kickback. But a lot of it, I just want to make sure that they kind of know what I'm sending their way. So, hey, Christine, welcome. Hey, Pete, welcome. How well does it lock up? Are you talking about this one? This thing is locked up solid, Bill. I'm serious. This is something you would like. This thing is really locked up. Just super, just, just, just really nicely locked up there. And it's, it's kind of stiff, but as far as the lockup, I mean, you can snap it open a little bit, but it'll, it'll, you got to give it a good shake to get it closed, but it's got that little choil there, so it catches your finger, so it's not going to guillotine you. But I like this knife, and I can't wait until I review it so I can stick a lanyard and a skull or something on there, so I'm excited about that. And I ordered a bunch of giveaway knives. I ordered a bunch of these from... Smoky Mountain. So this will be the new giveaway knife when the knives will be getting given away. I love this knife. And you know what? I didn't realize. I think I was going through the Smoky Mountain new arrivals. And that's why I was just kind of picking up some Kershaws and stuff. And this was on the new arrivals. But this is actually an older knife. This has been out for a long, long time. So I'm, I don't know how it slipped by me. I think it, it came out way before I kind of get into big time into knives. This thing is really cool. You know what it reminds me of kind of is the, what's that short little bench made that's kind of chunky like that and it's a, it's a liner lock. Man, I should know that. Some of them are M390. It kind of reminds me of that one. I just remember, it's the mini pocket rocket. This is like the Kershaw mini pocket rocket 
bigger, senior, it's just a little bit bigger than the Mini Pocket Rocket, but it's kind of got that feeling to it. So, <clears throat> got the two Spydercos in today that I told you about the other night. Caribbean sheep foot. Ooh, how you like that Caribbean? Caribbean. How you like that Caribbean? Doo, doo, doo. All right, the Momo dwarfs, all blades. That's correct. Gun Cotton's got it right. The half ton. Hey, Peter, be welcome. Okay, my mom's name was Christine. I buy Chris normally. Hey, Todd. LOL. Okay, I'm trying to get everybody in here. Hey, Mark, welcome, Mark Bowman. All right, so that's going to be given away. I'm gonna do some giveaways and stuff. That'll be our giveaway for Facebook's kind of thing. Cool knife though. And I know a lot of y'all have some issues with the Smoky Mountain shipping and how much that costs. But let's say you got your count way up there, close to there, and you're like at ninety-one dollars. Chunk this bad boy in there, and you're basically getting it for free because then you're kicking into that free shipping zone. This is a great knife. And it's a great beater. You can just chunk this thing in your truck and just leave it there. This is a really good beater knife. So, there you go. Do I have the Rough Rider Granddaddy Barlow? No, I sure don't. I saw it the other day. Was it that you that had it on Facebook? That was pretty cool. Yeah, Pete, I need a Benchmade Ruckus too. I love the way that handle looks. Just like slim at the back. Kind of fattens out at the front there. I like that. <clears throat> All right, Benjamin. Hey, Todd. Darcy, hi, Todd. Yeah, I did. Yeah, need more caffeine. Choo, choo, choo. Oh, does Chadman have the referee? He's on the road. I don't know. Oh, there you go. He says he does. All right, and let's see. I got some more stuff in coming in tomorrow, I think. I'm trying to think if I got anything in today. No, nothing for the channel. Nothing for knives or anything like that. Got some stuff from Meh. Meh. Meh is always suckering me in with stuff. Let me show you. This is the kind of stuff Meh suckers me in with. It's like these things for like holding on to cameras or they'll get me with, with earphones. And I must have 10 pair of earphones around here, but they always get me in and snag me or little magnets for my son to play with <clears throat> how much cash does a person need to buy one of every knife Whew, I don't know that's a lot <clears throat> what energy drinks do I like uh, when I'm taking energy drinks I usually I've been taking some cheaper ones the the ones the Costco version of energy drinks sometimes I get these when I don't I don't mind feeling my heart and my ears so I'll drink a couple of those. But after that, that's about it. Just those two. Now somebody sent me in some military grade powder. I think you're supposed to stick it between your little pinch between your cheek and gums until you see Dale Earnhardt in your rear view eye mirror. But I haven't tried those yet. I haven't been, been down, depressed, or worried enough to do so. It's coming though. It's coming, I'm sure. I'm going to be running out of the other ones. Going around the house like a crack fiend, checking the checking the cushions for energy drinks, and I'm gonna come across those. I'm like, oh, let's try that. Fifty eleven team. That sounds about right. That's a lot. Do do do. Fiance says it smells like cat pee. What smells like cat pee? What, what? Oh, NOS. I've never had NOS. So, yeah. I, if I'm drinking a can, it's always Monster. Monster, one of the sugar free monsters. I like the green one, the new green one. Tropical, whatever, Paradise. That's a good one, too. All right, what else is going on? I want it. Hey, I don't. I don't know. 
choo, choo, choo. Oh, the Pacific Punch is awesome. If I wasn't trying to watch my sugar intake, I would have a whole case of those bad boys. Kroger Generic. Never tried those. Monster Loco. Oh, Monster Loco Mocha. Those are so good. Nice, ice cold. Oh, man. Bill got me hooked on those for a little bit last year before I started doing this sugar-free stuff. But, yeah. Mmm. But yeah, the monsters is where it is. Bang is your jam. Man, for about 10 years ago, I was working out with my cousin. And he was living in the house for a while. And we red line. Holy heck. Yeah, that was stuff. You want to you wanna see your heart beat in your fingertips? Take some red line. That stuff is hard. I'm lifting weights. Screaming at yourself in the mirror. Her. 16 cases, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, sugar sugar is bad, especially the older you get, for sure. I like all my toes where they are, so I gotta watch the sugar intake. Loco Mango is... Whatever the one, yeah, in the bluish can with the party... Almost kind of like Mexican party colors. I don't know. That's the one that's really good, but it's got all the sugar in it. The green one, that's sugar free. Yeah, Chadman, red line. I, I took it for a while and just. I just could feel that it was not. It was wrong. So I never. I haven't bought that stuff since then. But I'll tell you what. I was putting up numbers. Putting up numbers in the gym, putting up numbers on the blood pressure cuff. I was putting up numbers. Strong black coffee, MJ. You know, it's funny. My sister drinks strong black coffee, <laughs> and I can't do it. Although when I was in basic training, we used to sneak the little freeze-dried... This is the truth. We used to sneak the little freeze-dried coffee packets out and chew on them when the drill sergeants weren't looking because we couldn't stay awake during class. So we... All had coffee grinds in the back of our teeth so that's what because we weren't allowed to have coffee in basic so. we snuck it out and I think the drill sergeant actually found a whole box that somebody decided to steal out of the cafeteria in somebody's locker or maybe he was just trying to test us you know they used to test you all the time and see if you're gonna break and narc on your friends I can't imagine somebody stealing a whole box. But uh, none of us broke. They dumped all our wall lockers and beds on the floor and made a stack of our boots in the middle of the in the middle of the bay. You know how it was. <laughs> just good hearted fellows. <laughs> just, just But anyways, so yeah, that's my coffee memory. Is my cat making an appearance tonight? I don't know. He might. He's over there sleeping in the middle of the hallway right now. Yellow cans a year made is low key jet fuel. Less kidney stones too. Oh, okay. Choo 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 choo. Fresh ground beans of good coffee will make you think you're an Olympic runner. I remember the first time. This is over 20 years ago. Me and my wife were walking through the mall. We just got done getting out of some coffee shop or something. No, it was uh, Godiva chocolates, and I never had chocolate covered coffee beans. And I was about three quarters of the way through that box of chocolate <laughs> coffee beans. And I'm just yammering and yammering and yammering and just talking fast. Just <laughs> and I couldn't figure, we finally figured it out. No more coffee beans in the mall, so. But I could see the future. I could tell the future. I could smell the future. Oh, kidney stones. Hey, Peach! Woohoo! Peach is here. Did I miss you coming in? I did. Hey, oh. All right, yeah, kidney stones are horrible. Some of the worst, worst pain ever. Yeah, he's a great fetcher. He's a great fetcher and a mighty drooler. He's like a well-trained St. Bernard in a cat body. I stole a box of pizza in my school in my teens. Oh yeah, dumping the lockers everywhere. 
dumping the shoes everywhere. I was wearing a the wrong shoe for about a week before me and the guy that got my shoe figured it out. You know, you're kind of scared. So I had like a 10 and a half W and he had a 10 W. And I was just too afraid to go and find it because the drill sergeants were scary. <laughs> <clears throat> so we were all walking around in circles. Couldn't figure out why I couldn't run properly. <clears throat> Yeah, Bruce, chocolate-covered coffee beans are awesome. I do love them. Yeah, they're really, really good. Just, well, I wasn't used to caffeine back then. and then I was definitely buzzing hard. <clears throat> You're only supposed to eat a couple of coffee. Yeah, I ate a bunch of them. It was a box about this big, and I was probably down, down to this, this much left. Just chomping on them like I was eating M&M's. It's almost like the guys running basic training don't like it. Yeah, you know what? That's kind of true. But then at the end, when you're done and they kind of chill out a little bit and you just kind of see what they're trying to do for you. It was kind of cool. Let's see here. All right. Back to knives and stuff. I'm really short on knife talk. I'm really short on stuff I could possibly show you I got a couple of videos I gotta do tonight for reviews so I can get the giveaway going seriously on this giveaway I'm gonna say a number it's gonna be a number thing that's all it's gonna be you gotta add it to your other numbers and then Sunday night we'll, we'll do a, a drawing on the number stuff so get your numbers together get a little list say like this this was seven this was twelve and then we're going to add them up. Who has the correct answer will, in fact, be the winner. I'll do a drawing on whoever has the correct answer. So I'll open it up, do a drawing, and there you go. <clears throat> I'm green my beans fresh, make the coffee brutal, and put an 18. Dang, that's wild. Raw coffee beans are delicious on their own. Like raw, un unburnt ones I never had a raw one sorry about the spelling I'm having beer okay I took hard pass on that not my jam yeah it's not everybody's jam for sure I had I was kind of the other way none of my buddies joined I mean I joined but it's not for everybody F and Grow has a new knife. It looks very cool. That's awesome. I like a lot of F and Grow stuff. <clears throat> Got a Grip Tanto, a Case Barlow, and Blue Bone. Hey, Chadman, if you're listening, can I uh, can I show can I show what happened? I don't want to I don't want to break any secrets or anything, but I will, I'll make up something if you say no. I'll be like, ah. Oh. He showed me this magic trick where he took my nose. <laughs> All right, do not eat raw coffee beans. Okay, I won't. The, oh, you thought the boker was a pro -elia. All yeah. All right, cool, I got permission. So, as Chad was leaving, all right, this is going to make me cry, seriously. I almost cried when it happened and after he left. I almost cried, seriously. <laughs> Talking to my wife how awesome this whole thing was. Y'all, sit back, grab something to drink, and check this out. This is what he pulled out of his pocket. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's... Look at that. Unbelievable. Just him being here was awesome. And then he did this. So amazing. You guys came with this knife will go to my grandkids' grandkids. This is so cool. I can't wait to wake my brother up and say, look, grr, check that out. <laughs> so this is, means so much. This, you just can't understand. Yeah, I mean, you can, but man, this thing is, it's, it's cool. And then it's super cool because of how it got here. And I can't think of, too many things 
in the knife realm that mean more than this. So I really, really appreciate it. It's so amazing. It's like, okay, I didn't win this SMKW giveaways, but who cares? <laughs> yeah, isn't that awesome? So cool. Yeah, my. He, yeah, he didn't bring anything deadly. He brought something that I could open. So that was very kind of him as well. I didn't bring the Ultratex. I, I don't know if this is the one he sent me to review, actually. But he sent me one to review and just made me love this thing. And then now I have this thing and it's awesome. You guys, this thing is amazing. It's an amazing knife. And now it has an amazing story. It's just amazing squared. So just super, super cool and unbelievable. Just unbelievable knife moment. Seriously, just a friend moment, knife moment. I can't talk about this enough. It was so cool. It was just so cool. I was, I don't know. Of course, my whole family knows who he is, and they were all excited to meet him. And after he left, we were like, oh my God. All right, but yeah, so it was super cool. Thank you so much. It, it just means the world. So, all right, so there's that. I can't wait. I'm gonna stick something evil on there, maybe a skull. Maybe like something really cool. All right. So there's that. So cool. All right. Let me let me look around here. I don't know if I have anything left to really look. Oh, I did find this. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I I got this from Smoky Mountain a long time ago. It was like April, and I'd lost it. And then I just pulled it out while I was trying to clean up around here earlier today. Check this out. All right. Have y'all ever seen this knife? This is like a shuffle, a little shuffle. I forget what it's called. The Antic. This thing is really cool. I've been opening boxes all day with this thing. This is a great slicer and just a really useful, hands full kind of knife. With that ring on there, you can get your whole hand on there and it makes this knife super useful. I love knives with a lot of handle and short blade, just for like, oh, that really good leverage on there. Very, very cool knife. So if y'all, if y'all see that, just, if y'all get a chance to get one of these in hand, I mean, it just kind of looks tiny, but it's really useful. And I really like it. I totally forgot about it until I saw it. I saw the Kershaw box sitting over there and I couldn't remember what it was. And it is so awesome. All right, I did, I did read the words, Rob. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Two, two, two. Hey, Hawaii. Where are you driving to and from over there? You can't can't be a very long drive. Man, I love driving around Hawaii. That was so awesome. Just driving around the island was awesome. I know once you get over there for a long time, it's probably just traffic, but even just being over there for the little time I was, I really, you can't get over how beautiful it is. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, it's really kind of a cute knife, but it's got a little, little bit of a heft to it because of the, it's metal, so it's not super light or g 10 -y, and it's, it's really useful. I opened a bunch of big boxes today with it. Yeah, Peach. I love that little the shuffle with the screwdriver thing. I like all kinds of stuff like that. Anything that makes it a little more useful. Like this one, it's got the jobber there. And I guess you could use that as a bottle opener, right? Is that like, yeah, you could use it. Can you use it as a bottle opener? How would that work? It's got this little lip here. Could you use that as a bottle opener? I don't open enough bottles to know. So, yeah. Click. So you got a bottle opener and a screwdriver on this jobber here. So. I don't know, that's pretty useful. Kind of cool and a knife on top of it all. And wait, there's more. Now you got to deal with this, but this is more of a pocket chunker. This isn't something you're gonna clip on your pocket. So, I mean, you could, this is something I'm gonna throw in there and go looking for. Traffic sucks everywhere. 
Yeah, I remember that being kind of ugly out there. I mean, it was a long time ago, though, so. Let's see. Do, do, do. Let's see. I'm making, missing anything here. Nope. Got to get a drink. All right, get your drink. Come on back. All right, let's see what else is going on. I already mentioned the raffle going on over on Facebook. If you want to get involved with that, hit me up on Jimmy slash YouTube at yahoo.com. If you're interested, it's 10 bucks a slot over there. <clears throat> also, for y'all that didn't sign up for Pithmas, I'm going to do this. Doc's going to kill me. And other people in the group are going to kill me. I'm going to do another window coming up probably towards like November. I'm going to get all these filled up that have already signed up. And then I'm going to give a little bit of a window to get a little bit more. I know I'm a glutton for punishment. My wife's going to murder me, so I might not be filling boxes anyways. But I just want to get some more people in on it. And then I want as many people as possible so I can complain as much as I need to afterwards. <laughs> so I can just like, I can't believe I'm going to do it, did that again. So that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking for a reason to complain. That's how many people I need. I don't know the exact number, but there's a number that I'm looking towards. There's the... Uh, the complaining free for all number. I don't know if it's 300. I don't know if it's 400. <laughs> but it's out there. No, actually, <laughs> quick mute, Jimmy. <laughs> actually, it was uh, it was Tammy's idea. So I, she was one of the ones that brought up. She's, and somebody else brought it up too. But yeah, she was like, yeah, you, you mentioned it too early. So I just mentioned it early, so I have enough time to fill the slots that I have. But I think if I can get all these done before I open up that window again, you know, if I get another extra 50, that's not going to be a huge problem. So let's see here. All right, let's see what else I got. I was still kind of buzzing. I was still kind of buzzing over my celebrity meeting. So that was cool. It was really cool. He's just sitting in, it was sitting in my, standing in my kitchen. Like, yeah. That's where you belong. It was awesome. 300 second news stream is about to get boring. <laughs> all right. What do y'all got coming in? I know a couple of y'all told me what's coming in. How the Jimmy and Slash name came about. Sorry, I mean, did you slash someone in the Jimmy? No, that's not what happened at all. This my uh, two favorite guitar players. Just, just stuck their name together. And it was a uh, name of my, my YouTube name since, what, 2006, I think. And then I had it for all that time until my Knife channel came up 10 years later, 2016. So it just kind of... The slash part kind of worked out with knives and whatnot. So it's... Oh, Eddie, let me show you who I met. I'm glad you asked. I'm always looking to show... Wait. Pay no attention to the dirty hippie. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. He was in my kitchen like a natural man. It was awesome. So cool. All right, so yeah, that was so cool. <clears throat> do, do, do. Let's see here. Z2. Oh, 393 on Tuesday. Nice. Oh, Peter B. Stay safe, man. I hope you're safe. All right. Let's see. That's <laughs> right, Rob. Yeah. I was just getting calf my beard out. I have a rough ride in my car to work knife and my smoking on new. Oh man, it's gonna be a good box. <laughs> Sam Jackson. <laughs> yeah. uh, a few goodies for Pithmas. Oh, and some sort of big knife. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. 
John fixing to have fixing to have the unboxing of the week or the month. Ten blades on order, nice. That's awesome, Peter B. Cool. There's a Chad in my kitchen. That's right. There was. It was cool. Oh, I got something else to show you. That's what else came in. I'm so excited about Chad being here. In fact, I can show you what else I'm excited about. Oh, look what came in today. Yeah. I can't get the lamp out of the way. There we go. Check that out. My arm wrestling table made it in. Except I'm too sore to use it. So <laughs> I'll have to wait till tomorrow to get some use out of it. Maybe Sunday. But yeah, it's here. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, thank you, Carmen. I appreciate it. Just got outbid on a Tucson. Oh, dang it. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm sorry you missed out on your knife, but I appreciate you being here. The work knife is awesome, Bruce. He's right. 43 years. Dang, Peter. Yeah, but still. Be careful. Be, don't. I mean, you're the man. I mean, you're the one that's been through it. Just be careful. What does Marcellus wallet look like? <laughs> That's right, America. That's what I did it for. <laughs> oh man, say what again? <laughs> oh man, I love the addiction with the wife. Oh well. Yeah, there's a lot of people getting addicted to those two sons. I have some really cool ones, and I think most of them were presents from one person. I really appreciate it. I can't find it. That one I just and I, would, and I found another one in my my drawer as a front flipper. I, I keep forgetting about it. It's such a sweet knife. <clears throat> All right, ten, ten, two. Where's the last projected path? Is it still gonna hit Florida? I, I haven't looked at it lately. That's over the top, nice Mark. He wins pun of the night, fantastic. It was, it really is, it's a cool, cool table. I'm, I'm super excited to get some use out of it. All right. So what else y'all got coming in? Let me make sure I got everybody recognized for their stuff here. So you get goodies for Pithmas, 10 Blades, Rough Rider Micarta, 393. Yeah, Christine, I spent way too much money on National Knife Day too. Civivi Praxis, okay, that's a good knife. I like that one. All right, I think that's all. I think I'm caught up. Choo, 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 choo. Spyderco adding. Nice. I got some Spydercos. Here, I'll bring some Spydercos out. Oh, I almost grabbed this one. It said, here, I'll bring some Spydercos out. That's kind of close. I'll bring that out. You know, maybe it's like, if you're an addict to Spyderco, maybe it's like methadone. Maybe it's like, oh, it's exactly like it. It just makes you feel not as bad. It's Spyderco methadone. Here's my little Techno, one of my favorite knives. The deal I got on this just would make you angry. And happy for me, but angry for me, too. It's one of those things. Like, oh, I'm super glad. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. That makes me happy you won the shock. No, seriously. Inside. <laughs> no, I really am. Just mess with me. <laughs> oh, man. Low to mid ramen, yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be a mid ramen front sweeping through California. You trigger by the lump. Oh man, this knife. It really is great. If you can find a good deal on that thing. 
Oh, so it's just all noodles. <laughs> so they don't even have the flavor cubes. <laughs> they just get the noodles. ZT. ZT addict. I don't I got one ZT out here. My favorite ZT flipper. That's cool, Peter. I upgraded my really, really old computer to Windows 10, and sometimes it's cool, and then sometimes it's like, no. No, bring back XP, please. We don't, no, we're not gonna do that. It's like putting a big old 350 in a Volkswagen bug or something. It's like, yeah, we're gonna run for a little bit, and it's gonna be kinda cool. We're gonna pop some wheelies, and then I'm just gonna blow everything out, so. Yeah, Pete, he did kill it with that shock. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> yeah, he killed it with the shock. That was an awesome win. I'm so glad. Spam for dinner here in Hawaii. You know, as a kid, I wanted spam so bad. But we we're too poor to have spam. And I just wanted spam. And I think we got spam one time and the key broke off. My dad stabbed the spam can <laughs> until it opened. <laughs> These may be all made up memories, but I'm pretty sure that happened when we lived out in California. Oh man, I love Spam. I'll make me some fried Spam and eggs. Make a sandwich out of that stuff. That's good stuff. <clears throat> Holy heck. You went... <laughs> so you won. Did you have to pay a whole lot for it? Dang, Chad said, nobody's getting it but me. You will be mine or nobody's. Oh yeah, Spam. Fried Spam sandwiches. That's, that's good eating right there. So now I have two, two Sun Vortexes coming. Nice. My dad ate some weird things. We, When you're poor, you kind of eat what, what's on sale at the dented canned food store. And I know for a fact we've eaten pickled pig's feet and just chewed on that like like hungry little street urchins. It was, and I like them. I'd eat a pickled pig's foot right now. Just chewy and it lasted a long time so you're happy. You kept your mouth busy. All wangy and meaty. <laughs> Vinegar and meat. I'm not sure those two should get together very often, but they dig in those pickled pig's feet. It's like vinegar and skin and cartilage. It was still yummy. And potted meat. Oh, man. Potted meat and saltines. That was a meal there. That was good stuff. I still get eaten. But the one thing he... Yeah, there you go, Brandon. Why? I told you. Potted meat. There you go. And Vienna sausages. My dad would eat those things. And every once in a while, he'd hand us one. And we'd scramble over to him. Like something out of a Dickens novel. Mo, sir. Mo, please, sir. Yeah. Ooh, jalapeno spam. That sounds good, Christine. That sounds really good. Beanie weenies. Beanie weenies aren't bad either. Pickled eggs. Never ate a pickled egg, but I bet I would have. Now that I'm a little, well, I'm a little more grown up. I'm not sure I could get a pickled egg down. But yeah, that sounds like something right up there. Pickled eggs. It, it might have been a choice. They may have flipped a coin at the counter. Honey, you want pickled eggs? Pickled pig's feet. Heads, it's pickled pig's feet. They can find out what pickled eggs are on their on their own. So, that was the road we chose. The road less traveled. Deviled ham, that's delicious. That's good stuff. Fried bologna sandwiches. Oh, John. Yeah. Now, I never had, we never had fried bologna at our house, I don't think. But we would go to our buddy's house and... I was like five or six or seven, and we'd eat fried bologna over there. That was good stuff. Bacon and black pepper spam. 
I'm drooling over here. That all sounds delicious. I don't think we ever had steakums. I watched the commercial and I think I would point a lot and grunt. <laughs> you know, like that, but we never got them. But yeah, that would definitely look like something I would get into. <clears throat> I still eat steak up sometimes. Used to make fast pizzas. Oh yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I'm getting hungry too, Mick. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go tear up the fridge and find something. Oh, cool! They're doing a Hawaii thing here. I'm checking this out. Do you know the Noodle House on School Street? And he does. That's cool. I love that stuff. Try a little steak and throw a little garlic on it, dip and beef bouillon. Yeah, that sounds really good. Jeff wants some pickled eggs. I'm going to have to try one now. I'm going to have to go find me a pickled egg. Oh, I did try something from the gas station. Oh, what was it? it was pickled hot sausage or something like that. I think I showed it on live or something. Now that was... Oh, that was pretty gross. That was pretty horrible. I don't turn it down too many things, but that thing was... That thing was out there. Scrapple and buckwheat cakes with maple syrup. Oh, that sounds delicious. Pickled eggs with hot sauce. That sounds pretty good. Throw down some uh, sriracha on some pickled stuff. That would be pretty delicious. All right, let's see. Anybody else got anything else coming? I don't want to. I don't want to keep it off knives too long. If y'all don't want to, so if y'all got something you want to chip in about some knives, we're going in for all the food stuff right now. All the poor people food. We're trying to get work out some childhood issues. Hey, Peter B., thanks for being here. Be safe down there. I appreciate you being here in the midst of all that's fixing to come your way. So we'll be praying for you. Let us keep us up to date on how you're doing for sure. Tapping over panties, 3166s. Yeah. Oh, out in Texas, you guys got those red hot sausages. I think that may have been it, one of those pickled red, pickled sausage or something. It was, it was not good. Hey, Luke, welcome. We're just talking about gross foods that poor people eat. Oh, pork skins and Texas peat. Yeah, I haven't had Texas peat on mine, but pork skins and some kind of Louisiana or Frank's hot sauce are awesome. What's your favorite knife to cut peanut sausage with? <laughs> That's right. My teeth. Dad would bite them in half, give my brother one, and give me half of one. So, yeah. For this lum, I don't know. They've been going kind of crazy. I think I paid just over 100 when I got these, and now they're going insane since they've been, I think they've been discontinued. But if, if, if you're patient, you should be able to spend in that same range of 110 120 something like that don't get gouged just because all of a sudden they're they're hard to get to they, they'll come back around it wasn't like they were scarce it's just that they're they're not being sold brand new anymore go to go to one of the forums and in, in like blade form or whatever you wherever you buy just say you want to buy one of these i bet somebody's out there will sell it to you say how much you want to spend on it and <clears throat> kimchi smells like feet I've never had kimchi yeah Texas U <laughs> Texas U is good stuff it's Texas U I think it's made in North Carolina Rap, rappy pie is poor food here I don't know what rappy pie is I never tried new kraut there you go John that's right I told you See, I'm going to make this stuff up over here. Texas Pete, North Carolina. I read about Texas Pete and the guy that made it. He was actually trying. They were going to call it Mexican Pete or something like that. And they went with Texas Pete instead. Better my mom's size Asian. My dad's white. I got the best of both worlds. That's right. Her mom's Asian. Her dad's white. And she looks Hispanic. 
Very cool. <laughs> Your disc changing a bunch were kind of wonky, I think. Oh, were they? I didn't know that. I didn't know they were wonky. If you can get one, it fits really good in hand. And of course, if you don't like pink, just dye it, make it black or whatever you can get it to. But the knife is totally useful. I sharpened this one up. It's VG10. I just put it on the stones today, and this thing will shave you. And I use it a lot. It just makes it just makes a lot of sense in your hand. It's got a good feel to it, and, and the blade that blade belly makes it a really good slicey, cutty kind of knife. Cream tuna. Yes, I do like creamy tuna. Hot links. That sounds good too. Hot links is awesome. Uh oh, somebody. What have we learned? What have we learned, folks? Do not check your messages while you're on the live stream. Oh, it's a famous person. I have to answer them. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go grocery shopping. Yeah, I think I need to, too. Shave my belly. Okay, I'll shave my belly real quick. Because of peer pressure. Don't laugh. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh every time. All right, let's take that spleen out. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's super sharp. And get all those weird hairs off of there. Nobody wants to see that stuff. <clears throat> hey, Mythgard, welcome. How you doing? Any more cat videos get put up? No, nothing. No more cat going up this week. There'll be some other videos with numbers in it. Se super secret numbers. Not maybe on my fingernails. I don't know. Maybe just spoken numbers. But you'll know if you watch the videos. Peer pressure shaving, yeah. That's right. I found over 30 shark teeth in one day. That's really cool. Where'd you find those? That's pretty cool. I never even heard of that. I mean, I've heard of shark teeth. I didn't know you could go out and find them. If it's a famous person, it must be Chad. <laughs> How many hairs is this one? Yeah. How many was that? Oh, I don't know. Extra. All right. Let's see. Let me wrap this up a little bit. Anything else going on y'all need to talk about while we're fixing to get out of here? On the beach. Yeah, that makes sense. I just didn't know you could find them on the beach. I spent time on the beach. I didn't know there were shark teeth out there. That's a really cool thing. You can make some money off of those or a sweet, sweet necklace or something like that. A man will land her. <laughs> oh, Kelly Clarkson. <clears throat> All right. Okay, well, I guess we'll get off here. I had a really good night with you guys. I appreciate y'all being here. This was a lot of fun. Chad, man, if you're still listening, just best day of the month. It was awesome. Let me make sure it wasn't anybody's anniversary or anything. Yeah, it was awesome. It was really cool to meet you and just unbelievably awesome. And this this is just way beyond what you should have done. I really appreciate it. Very, very awesome. Never, ever going to leave the, the family of Jimmy Slash ever. So it'll be something to be held on forever. And a wonderful story that goes with it. Y'all have a good evening. Check out some of my videos that come up. If you want to be in the giveaway, trust me, you're going to want to be in the giveaway. Because uh, i got an itch to give away some cool stuff. Y'all have a good night. Have a great weekend. Thank you guys again. And if you need to touch with the Jimmy Slash YouTube at Yahoo.com. If you want to get on that raffle. And y'all take it easy. And I'll talk to you later. <laughs>